Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what are activation functions and why do we need activation functions in neural network with simple examples. First, we will understand what is neural network. Neural networks, also known as artificial neural networks, are the subset of machine learning and are the heart of deep learning algorithms. Their name and structure are inspired by the human brain. That is, the name artificial neural network is inspired by the human brain as well as the structure of that particular neuron is inspired by the human brain. The artificial neural network mimics the biological neurons signal passing to one another in this case. If you look at here, this is a simple neural network. In this case, uh, this is called as the input uh, layer and this is called as the output layer here. And there may be multiple number of uh, hidden layers. In this case, we have only one hidden layer. Each of these layers contains multiple number of uh, computation units. They are known as nodes in this particular case. Each of these particular nodes are uh, connected with the next layer nodes. That is uh, the input layer nodes are connected with the hidden layer nodes. The hidden layer nodes are connected with the output layer nodes and so on. And uh, the output of this particular neuron is uh, activated based on some threshold value. Let us say that uh, uh, this particular neurons or you can say that the computation unit value is greater than the threshold the neuron is activated if it is less than the threshold value it will not be activated in this case so now the question comes in front of us is uh, what are activation functions so as said in the previous slide whenever uh, we want to make sure that uh, a particular neuron is active or not we need to use activation function here that is uh, first we will calculate the weighted sum here that is nothing but we have input we have weight here we will take the summation of that particular term here that is uh, wi xi and then we will add bias to that particular thing we will get some value here that is what is called as a weighted sum on the top of this particular weighted sum we apply something called as the activation function so once you apply this particular activation function the based on the value of this activation function we will decide whether this particular node or the neuron in that particular network is active or not if it is greater than some threshold value then it is active if it is not greater than the threshold value it is not active in that particular case basically there are three types of uh, activation functions exist in neural networks the first one is known as a binary step function second one is known as a linear activation function third one is known as non-linear activation function now i will discuss uh, binary step function in neural network binary step function depends on the threshold value in this case uh, the threshold value is equal to 0 if the calculated value that is the, the weighted sum is greater than or equal to 0 the meaning of this one is the neuron is activated and the value of that particular neuron is 1 here if it is less than 0 the neuron is not activated and the value of that particular neuron will be equal to 0 over here so that is how this particular binary step function works so that can be shown uh, something like this if the calculated value is greater than 0 the output of this binary step function is equal to 1 that is what you can notice here if it is less than 0 the output of this particular binary step function will be 0 in this particular case that can be shown mathematically something like this if the calculated value that is the weighted sum is greater than or equal to 0 the output will be 1 if it is less than 0 the output will be equal to 0 in this particular case now what are the disadvantages of binary step function we will try to understand here Basically, uh, it cannot be used for multi-valued outputs. For example, if you have a multi-class classification problem, in such cases, we cannot use binary step function because it will give you only two outputs, that is 0 and 1 over here. So it, it cannot be used for multi-valued outputs in this case. The gradient of uh, step function is 0. Because this is 0, you cannot use this particular binary step function with respect to back propagation algorithm here because back propagation algorithm expects the gradient should be greater than 0 here because it is equal to 0 we cannot use binary step function with respect to back propagation algorithm in this case now we will discuss a linear activation function that is the second type of activation functions in neural network linear activation function is also known as no activation or identity activation function here what it does is whatever the weighted sum is there the same thing will be transferred to the next neuron here that is being shown in this particular function if the calculated sum is equal to 0 the activation of that particular value is equal to x only that is f of x is equal to x 
For example, the calculated sum is equal to 0, the output will be 0 here. If the calculated sum is equal to 8, the output will be 8 here and so on. So whatever the calculated value is there, it will be transferred to the next neuron rather than doing any modification to that particular thing. That is what is known as linear activation function over here. Now again, what are the limitations of uh, linear activation function is? Uh, if you take the derivative of that particular function f of x is equal to x, uh, f dash of x is equal to 1 here. That derivative is constant in this particular case. Because it is constant, it does not have any relation with respect to x. Because it does not have any relationship with respect to x, we cannot use that particular linear activation function with respect to that propagation here. So that is the first disadvantage of a linear activation function. All layers of neural networks will collapse into one. That is, if you have any number of layers, there will be only one layer if you use linear activation function. So that is the reason we cannot uh, uh, use this part of linear activation function whenever you want to create a multi-layer neural network in this particular case. Uh, if I use this linear activation function, it will be essentially, you can say that, uh, a uh, single layer neural network that is what actually you can say about a linear activation function here now there were a lot of uh, disadvantages are there uh, with respect to linear activation function uh, linear activation function you can say that is a linear regression model it does not have uh, can say it does not support multiple number of uh, layers in neural network and uh, one more thing is we cannot use linear activation function with respect to back propagation algorithm that's the reason its uh, power is very limited here and we cannot create uh, complex mappings between the input and outputs over here. To overcome all these particular disadvantages, uh, there comes something called as nonlinear activation function. Nonlinear activation functions uh, uh, allow the back propagation because the derivative function of these nonlinear activation function is related to the input because they will, that will not be equivalent to zero. Because it is not equivalent to zero, we cannot we can use it with respect to back propagation algorithm. That is, uh, whatever the nonlinear activation functions are there, the derivative is not constant. Because it is not constant, it is related with respect to input here. Because it is uh, related with input, we can use these particular algorithms with respect to back propagation algorithm here. And uh, we can modify these particular weights using back propagation, propagation algorithm and we can better predict the outputs over here. And one more very important thing about the nonlinear activation function is we can use these particular nonlinear activation functions uh, with respect to multiple number of layers by stacking one after the other. Uh, definitely, we will be able to get better what you can say that the results with respect to this one over here. Now, what are the different uh, nonlinear activation functions are there? Uh, there are actually 10 nonlinear activation functions exist in neural network. They are the first one is sigmoid activation function, tan h, relu, leaky relu, parametric relu, elu, softmax, swiss, gelu, and selu are the different nonlinear activation functions exist in neural network. We will try to discuss each of these particular activation functions one by one in the next video. So in this video, I have discussed what are neural networks, why do we need activation functions, and what are the different type of activation function exist that is binary step function linear activation function and nonlinear activation function i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching